respected elder uh, Buddhist brothers and and rest Buddhist brothers sisters as a Buddhist monk indeed a very moving very happy moment as usual the person who speak last then nothing to say <laughs> all the good points already mentioned uh, uh, i think usually this is my sort of uh, concern or feeling uh, of course i'm buddhist but the further deeper level i'm human being one of the nearly now about this 7 billion human being i'm one of them the humanity as a social animal so each individual's future entirely depend on the rest of the humanity so for my own sort of interest i have to do I have to think seriously about humanity. Uh, so number one, on human level, uh, according to my own experience, I know there's about seven billion human beings. Each one want happy life do not want suffering and each one have every right to achieve that no differences religious faith or non-believer or what what religious faith or what social background or rich or poor educated uneducated from king royal family beggar same human being on that level we are same we all have the same right i think many problems which we humanity facing with too much emphasis the secondary level secondary level differences if we think on fundamental level we are same human brothers sisters no basis to quarrel. No basis to cheat at each other. Uh, look down each other. No. We are same. So we really need to clearly sort of realize we are same. Uh, future happier humanity it's everybody's interest, everybody's responsibility. Now, we Buddhist, I think maybe nearly a thousand million Buddhists, we also have sort of responsibility to serve humanity. I think very motivation of Buddhist Shakyamuni for enlightenment, meant for centered being. Whole his sort of life, whole his teaching, meant for centered being. Not only Buddhist. So, uh, on that level, I usually strongly feel, strongly feel, the look back 20th century I think the 20th century become very very important century for human history we invented many many uh, positive things and at the same time the 20th century become century of bloodshed century of violence 
even in the name of different religious faith. Violence, divisions. Uh, so the 20th century really becomes a century of bloodshed, century of violence. According to some historian, over 200 million of human being killed. So such immense suffering really brought some good thing on this planet. Uh, brought more peaceful, more happy world than such amount of suffering can be justified. But that's not the case. Even beginning of this 21st century, some unhealthy things, unhappy things here and there, these are, I think, a result or a symptom of the past mistake, past negligence. So now, and then also the technology, immense of our city advancement. Uh, but that technology also sometimes, you see, uh, adding power of destruction. So the science and technology itself is wonderful. But in order to do to, that, to, to use for constructive way, ultimately it depends on our uh, human mind. The user of the technology, user of the science, knowledge of science. So in order to create a better world, if we expect a better world to come from money, come from science, come from technology, it's wrong. If you really want a better world, happier world, ultimately it depends here. And our uh, intelligence also, education also, not very sure. These troublemakers, I think these people also, I think as far as their brain is concerned, very smart. So you see their motivation here, uh, anger, fear, uh, hatred, suspicion, that's the causing of these problems. So now, first day, uh, in order to create this 21st century, become a peaceful century, uh, we have to think about inner peace. Peace never achieved through declaration, through resolution, through slogan. Peace must come through inner peace. That's the only way. So, the, in order to create a happier world, ultimately, you have to look individuals for the motivation. Through like a world body, United Nations cannot build peace. Peace must come from individuals in a peace. Individual, combined individual, that is society, that's community. And the leaders also come from that society. If the society not much concerned about moral principle, moral ethics, society only concerned money, power, then people from that kind of society automatically become just thinking, importance of money and power. We can't blame these people. Our whole society thinking. Uh, I think uh, many people, I think almost I feel almost like lip service saying God or Buddha. But in our daily life, we don't care. We Buddhist. We pray Buddha. Buddha Mishanam Gajami. But our real daily life, don't care about Buddha. Money, power, name. What's that? 
I think we religious people also sometimes learning hypocrisy. Very, very old sentient being, but real action. No botheration about others' right. Exploit. I think many other religious follower also. Pray to God. I believe God our creator. But we creation. Don't listen to <laughs> the creator's sort of voice, creator's sort of guidance. Yeah. Uh, I often was telling my Indian friend, India, Indian people, basically uh, more comparatively more religious people. Pray to Shivaji, uh, Ganesh. I think Ganesh mainly for wealth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, really, you see, worship, pray. I think every home, some God statues there. But they are real life. A lot of corruptions. How? No God. No Buddha say corruption is okay. We should be honest. Justice. Yeah. Just. Oh, just. No great teachers say, oh, you should exploit as much as you can. I will bless, I will bless you. Nobody, no God say that. <laughs> so therefore, if you accept higher being, like Buddha, or Jesus Christ, or Muhammad, or others, uh, then we should be honest person, truthful. But through that way, you yourself also gain more self-confidence. I have nothing to hide. I can tell what I feel. Transparently. Then you get trust from others. So from your own selfish viewpoint, honest, truthful, is the very important source of inner strength, self-confidence. Yes, there are people who oh, speak very nicely, smile, and then look, their motivation is something different. How can you develop trust or respect? Here I, I am Buddhist. I want to say, our Buddhist brothers, sisters, Buddha's teaching. Of course, uh, more than 2,500 years passed, but still, Buddha's teaching is very much relevant to today's world, including number of top scientists. Uh, they're really eager to get more information, more method, tackle destructive emotion. The teaching wonderful, but I really feel now there are signs. There are lamas or turgus or teachers, their quality become degenerate. This I really feel some concern. If yourself not disciplined life, how to teach other people? In order to show other right path, you yourself must follow the right path. So therefore, uh, now I think all the positive things already stated. So now only thing left for me is say more negative things. <laughs> uh, so we, we must be very, very serious. I myself a Buddhist monk. I always watch myself. Uh, and every day, morning, as soon as I wake up, I remember Buddha and recite some Buddha's teaching. Uh, then 
sort of shaping up my mind, the rest of my, my day, I should stand according to that principle. Honest, truthful, compassionate, peaceful, non-violence. So I hope our Buddhist brothers and sisters here, I think uh, when we talk about Buddhist, Buddha Dharma, Buddha Dharma, and promote Buddha Dharma, propagate Buddha Dharma, First, you yourself propagate here. Right. Oh. So that's something very, very important, one thing. Uh, so, Buddha Dharma. Of course, all other major world tradition, as I m mentioned in my paper, all major, major sort of world tradition all have same potential to build inner peace and through that way to create a better world. But then one unique thing about Buddhism, Jainism and part of Sangha tradition is the emphasis, importance of individuals. Uh, the ultimate sort of, sort of theory or view is self-creation. And uh, we believe law of causality. If you carry right action, positive results come. If you carry wrong action, negative things happen. So because of law of causality, if you do wrong action, Buddha cannot save. Buddha taught, uh, I show to you the path go to nirvana. But whether you can achieve that or not, entirely up to you. I cannot lead you as a sort of horse, through blessing. Never, Buddha never said that. So, you are your own master. So, that way of teaching, I think very, very helpful. Everything depends on one's own action. Action, positive action, negative action, entirely different motivation. So, Buddha Dharma can make, I think, uh, I think, significant sort of contribution in order for inner peace, like that. Now here, as I mentioned yesterday, when I met, when we met, uh, the leaders, uh, Burma, and then uh, Laos, and some other. In the past, with the name of so-called Hinayana, Mahayana, Tantrayana. So people get the impression these three yanas are something really different. And separate. That's totally a mistake. As I mentioned briefly this morning, uh, the Theravada tradition uh, or Pali tradition is the foundation of Buddha Dharma and practice of Vinaya uh, is the foundation of Buddha Dharma. Buddha himself, his own history, my like history, sorry, his own story, uh, he sort of what's that, uh, cut his own hair and then become monk. That's the practice of Shila. Then six years meditation. That's the practice of Samadhi. And also practice of Vipassana. Through that way, finally, he got enlightenment. So three trainings, uh, Shila, uh, Samadhi, Paranjya, or Vivasana. So we, his follower, must follow that way, without the practice of self-discipline, without the practice of Vinaya. How can you develop Shamatha and uh, Vivasana? Difficult. So, 
So the Bali tradition is the foundation of Buddha Dharma. On top of that, the practice of, I think, the Parijaparamita Sutra, that is Sanskrit, Sanskrit or Sanskrit, 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 Sanskrit tradition, emphasis about Niroda, third noble truth, Niroda. So further explanation, what is Niroda? Uh, the, he explained possibility to eliminate our ignorance. Once complete eliminate ignorance from our mind, that's Niroda, Moksha. So it's a further explanation that. And then also Marb, the further explanation. Uh, so on the basis of uh, a Pali tradition, then the Sanskrit tradition add. That is something like Kasada, first floor way. Oh, first ground floor, there's a Pali tradition. Oh, Bhikshu practice, self discipline, Shila. Then, then Maja Paramita Sutra, uh, 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 also you see the Abhidhamma, a kind of Abhidhamma. So, about wisdom, I'm mentioning about wisdom. So, and uh, six parameters, ten parameters. Then, on top of that, the Buddhist Tantrayana, visualization, deities, uh, based on practice of Vipassana, Samatha, and Bodhicitta. So, these first floor, ground floor, where? Ground floor, the first floor, second floor, like that. Without ground, ground, where? Oh, you cannot build. So I think my, uh, the Buddhist brothers, sisters here, I think you should know that. Of course, I, I have no authority. Um, I myself consider a student. Whenever I have time, I always study, read, 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 like that. Uh, so, but, you see, I think as far as Tibetan Buddhism is concerned, about 300 volumes which translated from India, Bali, as well as Sanskrit, and some Nepalese. So I, yeah. whenever I have time, I read, think, study these 300 volumes. So certainly my knowledge compared to those people who never touched these 300 volumes, I think then my knowledge is a little better. <laughs> So therefore, so therefore, you see, hmm, as a result of study these books, uh, I develop a full conviction. Uh, these practice of these three trainings are very, very essential, like that. So uh, then, so firstly, we Buddhists, whether Theravada or Mahayana or Tantrayana, uh, we must be a genuine follower of Buddha. That's very important. Clear. Uh, in order to become Buddha's follower, just change dress. <laughs> Even because a puppet, we can put some uh, monk's robe. We, we cannot call them a <laughs> Buddhist, <laughs> Buddhist monk sort as well. <laughs> So, so I think. Puppets, puppets, or dolls, or put some bishu's robe. Uh, if you can say, I mean, we, we cannot say this, these are uh, good monk or good, good bishu, isn't it? Uh, so, just to dress, it's very easy. Uh, change here in order to become genuine Buddhist follower, in order to become Buddhist monk, uh, you must practice seriously self-discipline. Like, like that. Or sometimes it looks, oh, Buddha, let him work hard with luxurious life. How? How can? If you are Buddhist, 
We must follow Buddha's own way. Six years sort of the hardship practice. We must follow his example. So, so now, as I mentioned yesterday, the, the, in the past, a friend is speaking, there is some kind of gap or wall between Pali tradition and Sanskrit tradition. Uh, this wall, nobody's benefit. <laughs> oh. we, must come, we must come together and exchange. We, uh, there are a lot of things to learn from your tradition, from your Purti Moksha. You also can learn some of our Sanskrit Purti Moksha. Yeah. So, more sort of regular sort of meeting, not just a ceremonial way, but serious meeting, serious discussion. It's very, very essential. This is one thing. Then I think Bhikshuni. I think whole your sort of later part of your life, I think including your dream, I, I think you always think Bhikshuni, Bhikshuni, Bhikshuni. <laughs> so, so I think as you know, the right from the beginning, I always sort of wish or support the Kasuda survivor, revival, revival of Bhikshuni. And Mola Savasiddhi Vajan tradition. But that, you see, we have to follow about the uh, Vinaya sort of what is the text. Uh, if I have some kind of a special right acting like a dictator, then I can say, oh, you must do that. That we cannot. We must follow according to the Vinaya text. So Mula Savasadvadin text and also Dharma Gupta text. Uh, Theravada text. This also is one important subject that we have to discuss very seriously. So this decision beyond my control. What I can decide is introduce all the Nanare dependent community. Uh, I introduce the study so the same level that is these big monasteries or the monastic institution carry study. So now we already see ready some nuns becoming Kishima, good scholar. Oh. <laughs> now the Bhikshuni, see the, from time to time we are discussing, this moment also I show your letter to the Laotian leader and the Laotian Buddhist leader and also the Burmese, the Buddhist leader. I show the letter and we will carry a serious discussion. Hmm? Uh, I think I am quite sure, eventually, I think some, because of the agreement, right? some agreement, I think we will, because of that, we will arrive uh, like that. So I think that's all. Thank you. <laughs> so we really need to clearly sort of realize we are the same. Uh, future, happier humanity is everybody's interest, everybody's responsibility. Now we Buddhist. I think maybe nearly a thousand million Buddhists. We also have the sort of responsibility to serve humanity. I think very motivation of Buddhist Shakyamuni. So number one, on human level, A 
according to my own experience, I know there's about seven billion human beings. Each one want happy life. Do not want suffering. And each one have every right to achieve that. No differences, religious faith or non-believer, or what, what religious faith, or what social background, or rich or poor, educated, uneducated. Uh, I think usually, you see, my sort of uh, concern or feeling, uh, of course I'm Buddhist, but further, deeper level, I'm human being. One of the nearly, now about is seven billion human being. I'm one of them. The humanity as a social animal. So each individual's future entirely depend on the rest of the humanity. So for my own sort of interest, I have to, do, I have to think seriously about humanity. Respected elder uh, Buddhist brothers and and rest Buddhist brothers sisters. As a Buddhist monk, indeed, a very moving, very happy moment. As usual, the person who speaks last, then nothing to say. <laughs> All the good points already mentioned. Uh, from king, royal family, beggar, same human being on that level. We are same. We all have the same right. I think many problems which we humanity are facing with too much emphasis, the secondary level, secondary level differences. If we think on fundamental level, we are same human brothers, sisters. No basis to quarrel. No basis to cheat at each other. Uh, look down each other. No. We are same. 